Well, I'm glad it wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yes, please ask us your questions. And again, part of the reason we wanted to do this session was just to let you know that we're out there. We're actually all three retired now. And yes. so we are, you know, our greatest joy is to make sure that all students get access to earning credits and potentially qualifying for our state seal of biliteracy. So one of the things that Waffle does on that score is that you see that little medallion there. Those have to be pre-ordered from a med metal, uh, you know, a, a awards kind of company. And uh, some smaller districts say, oh, my, we've only got three. We can't afford to like order a big order. It costs, you know, you have to have a minimum of $100 or something. And so Waffle decided that as one of our service projects for the state, we would pre-order like what? I think you've got 500 or something. And so uh -huh. people can order them from us for $5 each. And then Donna takes care of, of ordering them. And if you go to the Waffled Wild Apricot, you could show where they can actually order those uh, medallions. And I so would that's also say that what I did is um, I ordered them through a local um, awards company, metal company, and I would get them actually the engraved store. on the back the, as well. The store. So. Store, uh, uh, could you go to the store? Yeah, just oh. go to the store. Store the, along the top to the left. Store. Left, 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 left. store. Right there. there we go. <laughs> Oh, yes, then, there they are. And then the first one, the Washington State Seal of Biliteracy Medallion. Yes. Yeah, I mean, district, there's no requirement from the state to do these medallions. Uh, so you you can make your own if you want to uh, at this point. But if you want to order them and have uh, have Donna deliver them, you can do and, that. And I'll be taking a box of them over to Vince um, in the next month or two. So if you're over in the Spokane area um, or on the, on the other side of the mountain, he'll be able to get them to you quickly, too. <laughs> That's great. I guess one other thing we might want to go back to the store, if you could, for just a minute and maybe say, it. Um, actually, I think actually I had that link um, from Melissa. If we have time to show, that would be super cool. Oh, yes. If, see what it says, stamp testing for global seal of biliteracy. Click on that. So one of the things that became feasible during COVID is that uh, Avant Assessment and other testing companies began offering remote proctoring for their assessments. So that meant you didn't have to have a site. You could have a secure proctoring experience. It's more expensive for the assessment in, the, in those circumstances, but uh, it's simpler in the sense if there's just one or two people, especially. And for our, uh, I had several grants that were working on assessment. And so this, you know, saved our bacon because we didn't have any way to to bring all the students together. So if somebody, this is oriented to Waffle members um, and teachers in particular, we're encouraging them to do language assessments so that they can earn the global seal of biliteracy as an example for their students. And uh, so they can order tests, they would order English and their partner language that, uh, and some people have done two partner languages like Chinese and Japanese. And then we would deliver the codes to you that we would get the results. And if you qualify for the global seal, we submit at that so that you receive your certificate from uh, Global Seal. So we've had um, a couple of people that have been doing this testing. Donna, tell us a little bit about your experience doing some of the testing. Yeah, so for especially for students that are in the private schools where, which is not part of the state competency credit, but they can still get that proficiency or even middle school students who take the test early. So by having a student, I've had students take a test from a private school, and then there's three levels to the global seal. I think that's back on our other page. Um, and they can get a certificate to show what level of their proficiency, whether it's functional, working, or professional. Because often even kids who are in the high school that get the four credits because they've reached an immediate mid, um, sometimes they're scoring way beyond that. So in addition to the seal of biliteracy, they can get the global seal. But it's really nice for um, these students that are in private schools. And it'd be re really nice if we could see some of these private schools. I know some of the Catholic schools that I've worked with, if they can adopt this system, that they can get that recognition. Plus, it's something that you can take to businesses and on to college that actually is a certification evidence of your proficiency. All right. Um, did you want the link? Yes, if, if we right could. Right here. 
Yeah, just a second. I'm trying to get the link for the testimonial. It's just a couple minutes, but I think people right would enjoy it. Yes, that one. Could you just open that up? I just put it in the chat too, but uh, but be sure to open it with sound. Or well, let's see if you shared with sound or not. I hope so. Oh, do I need to log in? You don't have in. to log in. That's really weird. That's all right. Huh. Or maybe you can let me oh, share. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't think it should be necessary, but I'm not sure why you're having to do that. That's to edit. That's weird. Um, can that is very strange. Should I try it again? Yeah. Um, I wonder. Oh, I gave you the wrong video. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can you use the voice oh, in the one here is wrong too. I'm sorry. I gave you the wrong link. <laughs> my problem. I will get the correct link and show it to you guys in just one second. Okay. We'll do that one in a minute. Is this the same link that's in the chat as that one? No, it's, yeah, it's not the correct one. I'm sorry. I gave okay. you the wrong one. We'll come back to that, everyone. All right, so let's go back to, ah, now I got too many things open, don't I? All right. Um, let me come back to this page, the seal of biliteracy. Um, how many of you are familiar or are implementing the seal of biliteracy in your schools? Now, I guess Idaho's not there yet, right? We're gonna help you get there. Yeah, and we Kristen, have it approved, but we're just working on it. Perfect. And it, it's such a wonderful thing. And the recognition um, that the students, all right, I am just getting all kinds of things coming up today. Yeah, so just the recognition that the students can get at graduation, it's really nice when, whenever we have like a separate ceremony where the students can be there and they can get their certificates for however many credits they got, whether they're freshmen and then the seniors who've gotten the seal of biliteracy and inviting the parents, a recognition night for them, um, especially like for the ELL students that have taken a test in many of the many languages. This might be the only recognition ceremony that they've had because you know, especially if they come later in life during their high school years and their ELL, EL, um, it's quite, it can be a very emotional evening for everyone. Some, some districts have made it into an ice cream party night. And so whatever works, so anything to recognize the work they're doing. All right. Do you, do you want to just show that link, see if you can, the second one I just put in the chat. I'm sorry about that. And I oh, yeah. wonder, Let me don't try you, that. You know, go to the chat and maybe unshare and then make sure you're sharing with sound before we do it. Oh, that's a good idea. Hmm. Is it not, you're seeing it in chat? Yeah, I clicked on it. It's still. <laughs> Technology is definitely not cooperating today, is it? It's not opening. So it's still doing the same thing. Oh, wait, really? here we go. <clears throat> and I would say that one of the things that I needed to do besides to get, make sure that my school board was OK with this was the first person I got on board was my tech guy, because yes. you know the day that you're doing a test, there's always something that pops up. I had um, four different types of microphone mm -hmm. headphone combinations, and one of Does them would work and one of them wouldn't. And it's like, this is the better kind. And that one will work for a while, but then it cuts out. I mean, it was just like one of those things where I did not have time nor patience to run from computer to computer to fix those problems. So make sure you got a tech person who can handle those things with ease. Can you let me share a screen and let me try doing it? Oh, there it is. Yes. You got it. Is this it? Oh, okay. Go yeah, ahead. That's it. It's very short, but it's cute. Is this a video? Yes. Oh, there we go. I got it. No, you didn't share with sound. Oh, maybe you did. Okay, it's not the sound isn't working properly. Just that's okay. Why don't you just skip it? Sorry about that. Is the sound not working? It doesn't. I'm not hearing it. Oh. It's okay. Don't worry about it. We'll right. like people later. Okay, so we have a question from Christian. Kristen, 
uh, when we when we can get to it. Okay, what accommodations do these tests have for our students with hearing or vision impairments? Yeah, there are some, aren't there, Michelle? Well, yeah, this, has, this is a question that's come up before on many different fronts. Um, the, so the first thing to recognize is that there are uh, some of the accommodations that are al 